You want to know who's a cinematic character you never hear people talking about? Marion Walter Jacobs, better known as Little Walter. Now, Little Walter is the heart player played by Columbus Short in Cadillac Records. Now, I'm not sure if the Cadillac Records Little Walter and the real Little Walter correlate, because I know the movie is based off a true story, but that don't necessarily mean the story is based off the actual character. But if it is, Little Walter was a bad man. Then you did. Then you know I shoot this whole motherfucker up there. Now, Cadillac Records is solely based off of Muddy Walters, and he cool. Had the bitches, could play the guitar. Little Walter just stood out. Now, according to the movie, Muddy met Little Walter playing his harp in the street. He felt like he'd be a good addition to his band. Lil Walter was a little too street. I say Muddy wasn't, but Wolf did take his hey, baby. Hmm. Won't you stay for a while? Ended up hoeing him and just kept playing him like a goofy. I'm the band leader. Reckon you ain't never worked with one before. Now little Walter, he wasn't for none. You follow this guitar, son. Son? You can play the shit out of that there the time so I follow you anywhere you want. But don't you ever be calling me no song. He kept up in the blicky. It's this one scene. I guess it was another band and they were still in his name. He just so happened to see it in passing. But this time he didn't just up pipe. We swing you little water. I am fool. Okay. So what? He, he's stealing your game. He's stealing my name, Odell. She. Yeah, whole lot of gang shit. Now, even though Walter could play a mean heart, he had one of the best songs throughout the movie. My babe. Oh yeah. That midnight creeping. Like this shit was so fire. It sound like it could be a hit today. There's this one part when he performing a song. He like stunk the ground. Everything she do, she do so pleasing. My like right on cue. My I don't know, I just thought it was kind of smooth. My Lil Walter was already a high head, but in the movie his mom passed away. I guess his mom gave him away when he was a kid. And Muddy introduced him to alcohol. Don't have you little Oh boy. It's gonna fuck me up, man. Cool you out. This changes Walter drastically. Now, he was already gone, but that liquor turned him to your worst uncle. Like in one scene, he tried to holler at Muddy B and Muddy's wife wasn't going. Women was different back then. A Muddy's woman. Muddy Walter came in just in the nick of time. And Muddy must know his because he knew something was off. Personally, I trust too much and I would have never saw that. And he come at little Walter like real savage. And he tells him, I put a mother facing on your boy. Even though Walter felt disrespected, he still held them down. This is a scene where Wolf like took Muddy bitch. And Walter stood by Muddy's side, flipping his pistol and everything. Only thing you can do is a big motherfucker right there. Shit. Now personally, I think Walter didn't particularly care for whoever Muddy didn't care for. But you can tell he respected Wolf. It's this one scene. Walter is slivered. He took the doors off his Cadillac. What happened to your doors? He was hot, so I took him off. He gets confronted by the police. And this is back when racism was still at an all-time, it's still at an all-time high. But they dropped the end bomb Get your ass back over here, nigga. Hey, hmm. these motherfuckers can't read. Come here, yeah, you gotta sound that shit out. Wah. Wah. Come on. Walter. They beat the hell out this man. And instead of having his back, buddy got mad at little Walter. <laughs> what you need to do. Is get back to the Pepsi Cola, boy. Let me tell you, that look ain't for you. Get back on the Pepsi Cola. You the one that. Anyway. I don't have your little taste. You know. That wolf? Where he stood up on his side, man. Maybe he could teach you something, huh? God damn. You know it gotta hurt when your right hand man say, hey, you can learn a lot from your ops. And he left the band right after that. Find yourself another hot player. God damn. Walter stayed around. I mean, in the in the little Walter way. Hey. Hey there, girl. Tell Chess. I need a new car. Say the right color. You never show it in the movie, but eventually little Walter got hooked on drugs. It's actually a real powerful scene that says a lot about little Walter's character. Etta Jane joins the Chess family. That's the record label. Etta Jane just notices that little Walter may be high. And she kind of insinuates that she kind of wants some of what he got. And he does the total opposite of what Muddy did to him with the liquor. Oh my, a little bit of what you flying on. Too pretty to be flying my way now. And that right there was just super honorable. And you know, as the movie plays out, the record company wasn't really in need of a heart player, so he kind of had to play the back. Actually, a really sad scene. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, I was just a side man now? Yeah, I do it. I do it. I do it, Lynn. I do it. Come broke as the rest of you motherfuckers here, so, you know? <laughs> hey, hey, I'm gonna need me a bottle of gin, though. 
just to see where he was to where he is now in the movie it's like god damn little walter eventually dies i guess he got beat up at some type of dice game at least that's what they say in the movie but only enough strength to make it to muddy house where he sees muddy's wife who he had a crush on and he shares his last moments with her and obviously walter was so strung out he didn't have no money to even like bury himself which led to muddy begging chess for some money because muddy player ass got so many kids that he can't even afford nothing either and wolf who muddy hates or should i say hate was hate no he intervenes and sons muddy again you know, if you act like a boy, keep asking for handouts, he gonna treat you like one. Is you and me talking about what is you looking for? I'm a looking to help Barry, a fellow musician. Which led me to believe that, you know, Wolf kind of has some respect for Lil' Walter as well. And it seemed like after Lil' Walter died, it kind of went down from there. And according to the credits, nobody paid for Lil' Walter funeral. His fans did. Super sad shit. But on a good note, Lil' Walter ended up going to the Rocker Hall of Fame. And like I said, I don't know how true the real Lil' Walter in the Cadillac Records movie, Lil' Walter, you know, what the, you know. But the actor Columbus Short definitely played the hell out that role. Lil' Walter. Definitely a slept on character. What the fuck are you talking about? Good degrees, I ain't got no money yet, but I'm rich. Get some rest. Get no, I need a new car.